parameters are a place for you to store variables that can be accessed by any node that needs it at any time. You can easily overwrite these parameters by creating different parameters files and switching between them with different environment variables. Let's jump on over here. We're going to try something different this week. We're going to jump into a slide mode. Let me know if you like this or if you like just going through the markdown file itself. Um, by default, Kedro gives us two main parameters files. We get the base and conf base parameters.yaml. We also get local and conf local parameters.yaml. Um, looking at our space flights complete repo, we would see this in our uh, base parameters. And it's going to give us a test size of 0.2, random state of 3, and it's going to give us a list of features. Um, note this environment will be always loaded first. You can probably change your config loader to change this behavior. I've never done it, but without uh, messing with uh, Kedro under the hood, um, base will always be loaded first. Um, let's look at how we access these. Um, I'm just going to jump into this uh, base flights complete. Um, we're going to jump in down here and we're going to Kedro, IPython. Notice I already have my space flights complete environment active. And we can access parameters through the catalog by asking for catalog.load. And just for transparency, we can open up base parameters, you can see this YAML file gets loaded in as a Python dictionary. We can even check the type just to show it is a Python dictionary. Um, another way we can access them is through context. So we can do context equals session dot load context and then context dot, dot params this will give us the same dictionary. Um, maybe another thing to note here, uh, let's do a catalog.list. Notice down here, uh, we get parameters, and then we get params colon, and then each of the keys. So if you have a node that just needs the test size, something you could do, catalog.load params colon test underscore size and this will give us the key here it's a float um we can see that in our parameters.yaml we see test size is just a float of 0.2 um jumping back over to our notes um let's take a look at how we use these in a node uh, again our space flights complete gives us this, this example of split data takes in all of the parameters as a dictionary and it sets our big X as data and then it sel down selects features that are in our features list. Um, again, we can jump back over to space flights. This is just in data science nodes, I think. Uh, yep, split parameter or split data. It just accesses, it down selects data based on the features that we have selected in our parameters. Um, so let's talk about how to um, change parameters uh, per run. Uh, first thing we can do is local. So if I have something that I wanna do a little bit different on my local machine. Maybe I'm not ready to commit it to the repo yet, or maybe, um, maybe the base parameters take a little extra horsepower and I don't want to run so many features on my local machine. Um, I can create a local parameters.yaml. Ketro may come with a local parameters.yaml um, and I can override features. So if we can uh, open up parameters, conf local parameters uh, and comment this out. Um, notice I have added env. So last time we, uh, we loaded, where is it? Uh, catalog load parameters. This comes from our base environment. Um, 
if we exit and re jump into Kedro IPython catalog load parameters, now we have we see the environment is local and the feature list is much shorter. We only have the two keys or the two columns that we requested in our local parameters.yaml. Um, we can also create uh, any environment we want uh, by um, local is kind of a special one by default Kedro will look for local and overwrite base uh, by default um, you can also pass in some environment variables to select whatever environment you want you could have any number of uh, directories in comp and load things from there um, this also applies to uh, catalogs, not just parameters, but today we're looking at parameters. Um, so let's go back over here and load in new parameters. Uh, so new, simply I just put environment is new. Um, I didn't actually change anything here. Let's look at, so a couple of ways to get into new. I can do Kedro IPython dash dash env equals new. And if I run catalog load, you'll see that my environment is new. And the rest of my parameters are that of base, not local. Um, so when you select an environment, um, it will load that environment and overwrite anything it finds in base and it will completely ignore local. Uh, so we can exit here. Uh, another way we could export Kedro env equals new. And if we then run Kedro IPython, this might be handy if you're running a bunch of different Kedro commands and you just want them all to have env of new. You can do that. Um, we can also maybe uh, Maybe you want to change it within IPython. You can import OS, OS uh, Kedro env. We'll switch back to base because we already have new active. If we did a reload and then a catalog.load, uh, you can see we're back to base by changing our environment variables. Um, yeah, we went over this slide. Um, goes over how to... Uh, activate different environments. And as always, links to this article and all of my other Kedra articles will be down in the description below, along with a link to the full Kedra playlist. I've got a link to configuration docs that show you how to activate those different environments right in the Kedra docs. Thanks for watching.